Hi, everyone. I am here today with Catherine Murupanga Aiken, coming from Aotearoa, otherwise known as New Zealand. I had to practice my pronunciation. So we're so excited that you're joining us for the Guy in Congress in January. And just to get to know you a little bit better, can you share maybe a, a snippet or a little piece of your story of how you came to be, how do you come to understand that there is this hidden subtle realm to the natural world or to the whole planet really? <laughs> Kia ora, Lindsay. Um, yes, ko ketra murupai ngai kan tōku ingoa no ngā te kuri me te rarua, ngai Māori o Aotearoa New Zealand. So I, my name's Catherine and I come from two Māori peoples in Aotearoa, the Ngāti Kuri and Te Rarua peoples. We're up the northern part of the North Island. Um, yeah, so my the origin story around the, the metaphysics um, of the universe and um, where that kind of dawned on me. It, it didn't really dawn. It's more a thing that we're born into. It's just a natural understanding. That's just how reality is. It's just an integral part of our culture, of my peoples, uh, and you live it day to day. So the spiritual world and the physical world are entangled. And you work with both energies. Uh, and yeah, um, through colonization, there's been a bit of a nuancing of that uh, with uh, faith-based, religious-based, um, but also the scientific world in more recent decades, as people will be aware, have been delving into, you know, beyond physics into metaphysics, like quantum physics and such. So it's an interesting time to be um, alive and to have that big bang, that big mashup of all these different concepts of metaphysics. Um, yeah, so that's like, that's a bit of an intro into my... One, one question that comes to mind, because I do find this in, in different streams, even... Um, many of us who understand that there are these subtle layers in your um, background, your history, do you, do you see it as, as sort of individual beings? Like, you know, we talk about sort of fairies and devas and elves and, or is it more forces that maybe yes. are less? <laughs> the answer is yes. Solid. Okay. Because <laughs> we're in a fractal universe and these uh -huh. are the other deep, knowledges of my peoples and you'll find many indigenous peoples have this deep wisdom eh? or high wisdom it's fractal mm -hmm. universe it's very deep mm -hmm. and high um <clears throat> so yes every individual we are we are taught have our own power our own mana to co-create and that's the key co-creation because we are children of the atua you know the the, the the supernatural ancestors colloquially known in modern times as gods, but they're not gods. That's a kind of a Western concept. They're our ancestors, spiritual and metaphysical and supernatural ancestors. So that's our track back to the creator. Um, so, uh, yeah, individually we have power, that power, all of us do, but it's the collective because the whole source is a unified field. Yes. Right on. Time and space <laughs> is an illusion. So yes. it all collapses. Yes. Yeah. So you're at the same time, individual yeah. and everything. Yeah. It's wild. If people are looking for a moonshot answer, you're not going to find it because it's more complicated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's yeah. great. That's it's it's great to be reminded of that and not because they do it's all about perspective. You can yes. understand it from this perspective, but don't forget that there's also this other perspective. Points yeah. of consciousness. Oh, that's yeah. excellent. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. yeah. Well, excellent. And so from that, can you give us maybe a little introduction about your workshop or what how are we going to delve into this? Or yeah, what I'll be sharing. Yeah. Um and it'll it, it It'll be me sharing a bit, and then I'd, I'd like to actually have everyone have a bit of a yarn and, uh, you know, some sharing of the wisdom that they have, because everyone has some wisdom to share. Um, yeah, so I'll I'll be, you know, going a bit more into some of the, 
well, you, you really need a long time, to, obviously, to go into any Indigenous communities um, deep knowledge. But I'll give some perspectives, some starting points um, about metaphysical um, concepts from my people's um, experience. Uh, and also to, to know that I come from a very activist um, line. So in the physical world, you know, there's all these crises happening. I, I don't have to explain what they are. We all know what they are. There's many and they're varied. So I'm active in, in many spaces defending for the environment, social justice, indigenous human rights, human rights generally, um, uh, fairness and economics, equity, you know, because that's, you know, money is power. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of spaces, so activism generally, um, and how I bring metaphysics and spirituality into my activism as a Māori woman, as a mother, um, hopefully soon to be grandmother, um, and uh, share some, you know, examples of how I practice um, metaphysical activism in my everyday life. So it's not just when I go out into, a, you know, a civic action, direct action out in the field. It's also in your own personal life because you have to begin right here, right now, to build yourself up so you have whatever it takes to go out into the world and be an activist you have to stand strong where you are first um, um and then some discussion i'd like to have some discussion if people have questions if they've got case studies examples because what we want to do is inspire we want to normalize actually yeah metaphysics and activism because now is the time if, if there's no time to keep our powder dry on this we need to be thinking where do i stand yeah uh, in response, in relationship to everything that's going on in the world, what am I going to be so I can, you know, do yep. out in the world in response to these crises? Yeah. So I think we can inspire some people. Um, if they're already a inspired kind of motivated category cohort, then maybe we can inspire them to go beyond their comfort zone in whatever they are currently doing because we do need to push beyond and further and further and further and up and up and up and out and out and out because there's so much going on in the world yeah well that's also we you need to keep growing that's i think that's part of the oh, model that nature yes. offers if you're yeah. not growing you're dying and to yeah some extent. but anyway yeah all right well we are thrilled to have you join us for everybody, the date's January 19th through 21st. It is a live online event, so you must be present to win. <laughs> uh, and our website is uh, guyancongress.org. So we hope to see you there.